you are taking old excuses not to start working on Kubernetes, I have bad news for you, you have no excuses left. We are talking about Compose with a K, that is a CNCF sandbox project that is born with the idea of making a transition from Docker Compose to any distribution of Kubernetes as painless as possible. So you start on one end with your Docker Compose, you ask K, <laughs> compose to translate your YAML file into a set of Kubernetes manifests. Then you apply them into your Kubernetes cluster and you have the very same application that you are managing right now with Docker, but now managed by Kubernetes. Then you need to know how to debug and how to work with Kubernetes, but it's a totally different story, okay? First thing first, you need to install the tool itself. So you can do this in different way depending on your platform. If you are on Mac or on Linux with brew install, the installation is as simple as brew install compose. Okay, and that's all, you're done. All right, so now we have compose. If you type compose in your command line, it's there. How I can use it? It sounds incredible, but the only thing that you need is a docker compose file, right? So you are already running a service with Docker Compose, you're done, you're good. Taking your YAML, putting into your command line in, in this way, compose, convert, and the name of your Docker Compose file, and voila, the tool will take care of producing a number of manifests, both to running your application and to expose them through Kubernetes services. Well, I want to be honest with you, this is kind of generic and is working pretty damn well. There is one caveat. Each Kubernetes cluster most often differ from all the others in the way it's exposing their services. So uh, you can have ingresses, you can have node ports available, you can have number of different flavor of ingresses that for which you want to expose your cluster and different kind of tuning that you might need. But one thing is starting from scratch and have to learn everything while you're developing. And everything is, okay, I have something that is at least is working, is starting uh, just to tune a few tweaks. So that's one of the reasons I suggest you to start with that. And also all the boilerplate, even though you are an expert in Kubernetes, this can be very useful. If you have a Docker Compose to convert, you can start, you know what you're doing, but still you want to waste time in converting things by yourself. So yeah, pretty cool. Now you can see here, we are going to apply all this manifest and voila, services and pod are running. We need to understand how to expose them properly. Really the only one thing that you have to do, that's all. So thank you for following this quick update. Uh, I found this tool very useful. Let me know what you think in the comments subscribe for more tech news and tech applications and see you on the next episode.